Hey everyone, Michael here with Hello Cupcake It's Me, and today is uh, Wednesday, November 24th, and that means tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so if you celebrate, happy Thanksgiving. If not, well, have a happy Thursday. Um, anywho, uh, God, I had a lot going on this weekend. Uh, Saturday, I went and hung out with my sister, and we went and did some shopping, and um, just spent the day together, and then me, her, and her boyfriend, we went out for lunch, and went to this, uh, kind of a hole-in-the-wall Asian buffet place, but, you know, it's relatively decent food, and they have this amazing coconut shrimp stuff there, um, which is, you know, one of the bigger reasons as to why we go to this particular buffet. I mean, it's, um, rather kind of ran down and just tired, but, uh, you know, just, it was nice, and, uh, we went to a pawn, pawn shop, and we walked around, uh, Joann's, and I looked at some stuff, got some ideas for, like, new candles that I want to make, got some ideas for, like, Christmas presents that I want to get for my sister, and stuff like that, and, um, Hopefully going to be able to go do some Black Friday shopping. Um, I've got like an extremely thin shoestring budget to work with this year. Um, most years I have like at least six or seven things uh, stockpiled for people. Um, I did not do any of that this year. And so got to really kind of... Um, get gifts that, like, really matter and count, and don't break the budget for folk. Um, I gotta get something for my sister and my niece. Uh, my niece's person, which I think I'm just gonna do a couple's gift. Um, I gotta get something from my sister's boyfriend, his dad, and my mom, and then, uh, my friend Carmen and her husband. And, um, I always get him, I always get, uh, my friend Carmen's husband, um, like, two gifts because his birthday is on December 31st. And so, um, this year, though, I think I'm only going to get him the one gift. And he's been working out and going to the gym quite a bit, so, um... I got like one of those gallon or half gallon water bottles and I think I'm going to give that to him for Christmas and be like, you know, here, here, Merry Birthmas. And, um, as for her, I have no clue what to get her this year. Um, she's making candles also, so I may see about getting her some candle dye or maybe even buying some more wick for her or something like that. I have no honestly, um, but yeah, anyways, um, I'm really looking forward to Thanksgiving, uh, I'm putting together a charcuterie board this year, and it's gonna be, like, one of the first years that I've ever, like, really kind of made something for Thanksgiving, um, so I'm kind of excited about it, uh, I got these amazing, date rolls that are uh, date and coconut and um, half of the board is going to be like regular um, meats and cheeses and stuff and then the other side of the board is going to be uh, vegan because my niece and her significant other they're uh, vegan vegetarian and like strict vegan vegetarian so um, yeah I'm Try, I'm going to try to split it up and got some plant-based uh, meat and um, cheese and stuff like that. I got some uh, crackers and cookies and things that aren't uh, don't have like butter or eggs and milk and stuff like that in there. So yeah, kind of looking forward to doing all of that and um, uh, yeah, I'm just really exhausted right now my energy level has just been so depleted the last couple of days and I think it's because I'm trying to get back out and walk again um 
the other day, if you followed, uh, or if you watched the short that I did, um, I was only able to go a half mile, and then I had to turn, or I had to sit there for a few minutes and, like, catch my breath, and then turn around and walk back to the car, and, um, I'm really upset with myself because prior to that, that half, that, I used to walk two, three miles a day, and... So I just gotta remember that one, I undid all the progress that I was doing. Two, I don't have the supported shoes that I need or any or really good shoes at all. So there's a lot of factors. I put on most of the weight that I lost. I like put that all back on, plus some of its friends. So there's just a lot of things that I got to remember and to try to be kind to myself and just, you know, when I first started walking, I was only able to go once around a parking lot and then I made it up to twice, then I made it up to three times, then I made it up to six times and then I made it from the parking lot down and around and back again and then I eventually got up to being able to walk a full mile and then got up to where I was able to walk two, three miles, and then I did that one massive walk where I walked all the way in town, which was seven, between seven and 13 miles, depending on like what you went by. If you went by my phone, it was 13 miles. If you went by my, um, my step counter on my watch, it was 7.5. So I don't know. Either way, all I know is I walked in town, um, I'm planning on trying to get back up to that. Even if I do it just once, I want to be able to do it again. And then eventually I want to work myself back up to being able to um, get excited enough to do my full walk that I want to do, which is 127 or 129 miles. And I'm, I'm probably not going to do the full hundred and some odd miles or whatever, but, um, where I'm planning on starting, it's about 13 miles from there to my sister's house. So I plan on walking as far as I can <clears throat> and then resting at my sister's house for like a day and then getting up and going from my sister's house to the next checkpoint which I'm expecting to be able to do another five, maybe six miles, camp on the side of the um, side of the trail, and then just kind of hopscotch along the way. Uh, last time I looked at it, if I was able to do four to five miles a day, it was going to take me about two weeks to complete it. Uh, give or take, and that was just going like a mile or two a day, or walking as far as I could, and then stopping, and then resting for a little while, and then walking as far as I could, stop, rest, whatever else. Um, and that's what I plan on doing. I need to get my endurance back up, I need to get my strength back up, I need to start walking with at least 30 pounds um, in my backpack. Um, I don't plan on my backpack being quite 30 pounds, but you never know because I'm going to have to pack a tent and a sleeping bag and food and um, all that other fun stuff. Uh, I really don't want to do that massive hike that, I that I'm thinking about without having some kind of like handgun. Um, I have some pepper spray, but that's not going to deter like a big cat or coyote or whatever else. So, um, I kind of did a little bit of gun shopping or, well, gun window shopping this weekend. Um, that was part of the reason that we went to the pawn shop was just to kind of look things over and see what was available and see if <clears throat> anything was in my price range. And I actually found two handguns that I really liked. Uh, one was a revolver, and then the other one was a twenty-two or a thirty-two. I can't remember, but 
they were both within my price range and um, I've heard a lot of really good things about that pawn shop and them as an arms dealer and stuff like that so I think that um, when the time comes for me to purchase another gun that's where I'm gonna go um, what else what else would oh um, yeah so above and beyond that um, as with the depression um, you guys know that I was really really bad off there for a little while um i'm doing a little bit better um i'm not as sad and mopey and weepy and uh whatever you want to call it um i do feel a lot better and i still have yet to talk to some of the people who during in my depression like my brain was telling me it was because of these people and that it so I, I I'm struggling and I don't know what to do I don't know if I should approach these people and let them know like hey you know this is how I was feeling this is what was going on um is it was there any truth to this was I just misreading the room whatever else or do I leave it alone because um, I'm a communicator and I and I've always told all my friends and family you know I may say something or do something that hurts or offends you and if I do you've got to let me know because chances are I do not know that I have done so and um, a lot of people think that that's just a cop out for me to just be an asshole or whatever else and it's honestly truthfully not that at all it's i literally do not comprehend a lot of times that what i have said or what i have done is hurtful and anyone who deals with being bipolar or has any kind of mental health issues can kind of understand where i'm coming from that sometimes it just comes to mind comes to mouth and there's no filter and um so I've always told all my friends and family, like, listen, you know, let me know. Um, sometimes people have, sometimes people haven't. Well, you should know better. Well, I don't. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I do that a lot of times, too. Well, you should know that that was not okay to do. And, you know, I, I don't. It doesn't compute that way to me. Um... So, doing a little bit better in that in that regard. Um, not feeling as blah about things. Um, and for those of you playing the home game, also, uh, I've talked to my biological mother recently. She's doing a, she's doing better. She got back on her feet. Um, well, as close to on her feet as she can, being in her situation. Um, She's got herself an RV that was given to her, or she's being allowed to stay in it. I'm not still 100% like clear on the logistics of it, but um, apparently it is really dirty, and she's been working, getting it cleaned up, and um, yeah, so calls me whenever she can um the people that was staying with her before she lost her apartment and became homeless for a week or so there uh apparently they stole all of her money out of her uh little jeans green dot checking account thing and um so she hasn't really been able to recover from that yet Hopefully, you know, she does get some money back or gets it figured out to where she can get her monthly check and have money to do things to, like keep to help herself out. Um, but, you know, above and beyond that, she's doing fairly well. I talk to her every so often. She borrows um, someone's phone and she'll call me and just give me a quick little update, say, hey, this is what's going on, blah, 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 this is where I'm at. Oh, oh gosh. Sorry. 
Um, so yeah, things are just kind of moving along. Um, get a couple of new uh, updates on the blog, so if you haven't done so already, head over to Hello Cupcake Gets Me and go check those out. And um, yeah, and I guess for now, I'm going to let you all go, but I hope you have a happy and safe holiday if you have to do any traveling. May your airways or your roadways be clear and drama-free. And as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate each and every one of you. If you have questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comment section down below. Hit that like icon and um, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will talk to you all later. Bye, guys.